Hello everybody, my name is Winifred Rad and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Oh, the post box is bouncing, I didn't notice that. Well, let's check it. I hear something electric. Good morning, letters from mom. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Bless you. I hear the monster music, that's weird. How are you doing, Monty? Do you have enough of Grandy's soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You've always worked so hard, Mommy. Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sure sending you everything have, I have saved up. As long as I have you and Arrow, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. Aw, thanks, Grandma. Oh, and she gave me a red rupee. How sweet. Well, I guess we can always count on our grandma now, can't we? Anyway, so I'm here on Eastern Fairy Island, and I know that because I just recently updated my sea chart. And basically, you can only come here, well, you could come here, but you wouldn't be able to do anything unless you have bombs. So, well, we're going to use our bombs. Oh, oh, okay, um, I might as well introduce these now. Um, we have Blue Chews here, and we somehow managed to stun it by uh, throwing that bomb on it. But uh, normally they're electric, as you can see here. And you can stun it with your boomerang, and then you can kill it. And instead of dropping... Um, yeah, instead of dropping either green chew jelly or red chew jelly, it drops blue chew jelly. And, um, I don't know if I've really explained this too much, but if you get some chew jelly, uh, you can bring it to the shop on Windfall Island, and if you have enough, they'll make it into, well, if you have red chew jelly, they'll make it into red potion. If you have enough of green chew jelly, it'll be green potion, etc. And, uh, blue potion, if you get enough blue chews to make a blue potion, um, it's, it's, it's a good thing to have, definitely. But it's not quite as good as Granny's Soup. It does the same thing as Granny's Soup, except for you only have one helping of it, and it doesn't double your magic power. Um, it only uh, refills your life and energy. So it's not quite as good, but anyway, here we go. We have another fairy fountain here. And, um... So we get, we're gonna get another upgrade. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Well, I wouldn't mind that. Not at all. Okay, anyway, we got our, we can now carry more bombs. We can now carry a maximum of 60 instead of 30, which is what we had uh, just a second ago, which is definitely good. Bombs are, you're going to want a good deal of them. And actually, you can upgrade all of your stuff really early in the game, so that's always cool to have it, um, or to have all those upgrades early in the game. Because, you know, in some games, like, you get the last upgrade. For example, Ocarina of Time where uh, you get that defense up upgrade like at the last minute you you barely even get to appreciate that in the game so but now you but if you get all these upgrades early in the game then you can you know have practically the whole game to have fun with them so that, that that's always I've always been a fan of that okay what am I gonna do now um well I could go, go do these things yeah basically you'll see that there are these three destinations we could go to it doesn't matter which order you visit them but uh, what's interesting is they all form a triangle, and in the middle of that triangle is the place where we where nothing was. There was no island, and we couldn't manage to get a sea chart, a sea chart upgrade. So that's kind of strange. Well, I guess we better go check out these islands. Um, I will meet you at, I suppose, uh, Eastern Triangle Island. It really doesn't matter, but I might as well go there. So I will see you then. Uh, catch you there, homie G, in the his house, dog. Woof woof. Oh wow, it's these guys. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm back and I'm here at. Uh, what is this, Eastern Triangle? I guess so, yeah. Okay, so we have here, like I said, it doesn't matter which order you do these in, but in fact, I think I. If I'm correct, yeah, you'll see this creepy looking statue here. And you'll actually notice the. Uh, what is that, Furore symbol? Yeah, it is, because the eyes are flashing green. So, wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. So we put Furore's pearl here, and it only makes sense to put it in the statue with the Furore pearl on its head. It doesn't have a mouth though. You place Furore's pearl on the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain, indeed. Okay, so I will see you on, uh, I suppose I'll do this one, Southern Triangle Isle. I'll see you then. Bye bye! won't okay these things won't actually send you anywhere um here i'll show you what they do they actually well if you run into them they'll just uh throw you off course but 
That's it. Oh, by the way, another thing, uh, a sailing tip, is if you want to make a sharp turn, this is sort of a weird way to do it, but if you jump up and then turn the control stick when, you, when you're in the air, and then when you land, you turn really abruptly, so that's a cool little thing I just recently learned, actually. So, I don't really know when you'd ever have to do that, but it's, it's a cool thing to know. Okay, I am here on, what is this? This is Southern Triangle Island. Strange that they all are named, you know, Northern, Southern, Eastern, when they're only really like one square apart, so <laughs> it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Well, then again, I suppose, what else would you call them without giving them away? I mean, like, if you call, if you called them Furore's uh, Island, that would sort of <laughs> be too obvious. But here we go. This one has what? Um, this is Nehru's symbol, so uh, I really wonder what one we have to put here. We place our pearl, which was given to us by Jaboon. And we just have to get that guy's face in here, don't we? Yeah, we really do. Anyways, we have Nehru's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. One pearl remains. Um, see, theoretically, you could actually come to these places uh, as soon as you get each pearl. Like, um, if you got... Well, you can't actually do this, but it would make sense if you could. Um, if you were playing, if for some reason somebody did this in real life, they could have just, um, I don't see why they'd save all the three pearls for last. Why wouldn't they just, uh, like, let's say, when they have zero pearls and then they obtain Ferrora's pearl, or I mean Din's pearl, why wouldn't they just go straight here and place them in one by one as they get them instead of just doing them all at once? I mean, then again, I do that sort of thing, you know, when I did the blue coins in Super Mario Sunshine, I just did all that crap at once, but, uh, cashing them in, I mean, but, I don't know. I guess, I guess if, if you leave them there too long, someone might steal them, I guess that's why. Uh, hello, everybody, I am back, what's that? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay, um, I was confused, for a I thought I already saw them, but, um, I'm a bit delusional, apparently. So here I am, I am at, what is this? Uh, Northern? Northern Triangle Isle, right. And, um, so we are here to place our final pearl, which happens to be Din's pearl, ironically, the first one we got. And it has Din's symbol there, and the eyes are fr flashing red. So we place Din's pearl here. And I sure hope nobody steals these. I mean, we just plop them here. Someone could just come and take them. That's kind of dumb. Alright, well, we put all three in there, and now what's gonna happen? Place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Indeed. Indeed I did. Oh boy. I hear a rumbling. Uh oh. Better get out of there, Lake. Better go. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Well, what's this gonna do? I thought so. I mean, what did you expect? Holy crap. Uh, I forgot about these guys, or these girls, I should say. What are they doing? This is crazy. Whoa. This is like the most epic part of the game right here. And another really cool part of the game, I never said this, but is when you meet Jaboon. You'll never see that area. Well, like that again. You you can't go back there, but... Uh, they, they join in the triangle, and you saw the Triforce there. That's interesting. Holy crap! How, how, the, how the suddenly... You, you place pearls in a bunch of wooden statues, and then they come to life, and then they shoot... Oh, that's gotta suck! Holy crap. How, do, how does the boat get all the way here without a sail? He's probably like, holy crap, dude, I just, are you okay? No, Link's fine, trust me. I don't know how he survived that, but he did. Holy crap. Well, here we go. This is um, kind of why there was nothing here before. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. What? So they don't think I'm good enough? They need to make me do a test? They don't just t believe me? Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Mommy, that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must now believe your, in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced. And you must triumph once again. 
you must rise above the trial of the gods. The trial of the gods, huh? Huh. So, okay, here's the fish. Um, we couldn't... Well, up until this point, you you weren't... You couldn't get this uh, sea chair filled in. But now that there's something here, you actually can. And I have one more thing of bait left. So, here we go. This is the last fish in the entire game, folks. Well, I, I guess unless you choose to get that extra information but there, I don't I have no need for that so here you go fishy well you got to tell me you know he probably doesn't know a lot about this place considering how it just popped up about two seconds ago boy it's small fry yeah 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 I've heard all this crap already I've heard a million times ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. so this is the tower of the gods and it looks like a, a, a nose ring and a bull's nose I know that's a weird comparison but it does I've done a little fish fortune for you, on you, small fry. And from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control the fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yep, there's some sort of magical utensils. Magical utensils? Are you kidding me? If you must learn about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy, Tingle. He's what that fish, fish fortune told me. Now, I must now. Now, I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You better believe it, small fry. Okay, well, that's quite the interesting information. So, apparently, we'll be coming here quite often. Now, this is the third temple in the game, and uh, I guess our seat chart's complete now. But, um, I'm not actually going to go here yet. I have some stuff I want to do. And, um, so I think I'm going to meet you at Windfall Island, which is not too far from here. Okay, I will see you there. Okay, I am here on Windfall Island, and I am finally here to... Uh, deliver the 76 joy pendants. Well, actually, you only need 70. So you probably won't even accept the other six, but to give our 70 joy pendants to Miss Marie, the school teacher here. But uh, apparently, she wouldn't accept them last time I tried to give them to her, but so hopefully, she'll take them this time. Here you go, madam. My dear, that's a joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that, why it is extremely rare, but not really, you just get 70 of these like crazy. Never come by, it's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I'll happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. Well, i got much more than one. To tell you the truth, I actually like about 20 of them, but that would, be, but that would probably be only after my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time, it's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put, this, put you all to this year. This little sweeties, that's so joyful, it's the best birthday present I can ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Oh, I've got a red rupee. What a pleasant surprise. Man, if you see this was again, tell them I said hello. Well, um, I got plenty more, Miss Marie, don't worry. You can see she's actually wearing it around her neck. Look, dear, did you bring joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right there? 75. Why, to think a child- Why are you waving your arms like that? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me? Oh, your teacher- You're not my teacher. I don't even live here. It's very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body's not with a thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like. Well, I guess it's about the pendants. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. And I'll, that will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you, but 20 is my lucky, lucky number. And just as I promised, I will reward you for going and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderfully splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. And we have the cabana, cabana, cabana. This is crazy. She's actually, yeah, she's actually giving us her private cabana. Like, how old am I? Twelve? I'm getting like a freaking. Well, I mean, like, I'm not gonna reject it, but wow. Is it really worth 21 joy pendants? Oh, you're the fine young gentleman to give me a joy pendant. Uh, pro oh, shoot, I didn't actually. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Here, have some more. I've got plenty. I have no use for them. Hmm, I can give these to me as well. But I feel you are perfectly satisfied with the 20 you gave me before. But my, you're such a persistent little dear. Because you're so insistent, I will accept them happily. Fine. I have no choice but to unleash pure joy on you. Prepare for an onrush of joy of the likes of which you've never imagined. What exactly do you plan on doing? How many joy pendants have, have you brought? 55. My goodness, I'm waving my arms around. When I put these together with the ones you've already brought me, they add to a whopping 76. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so joyful. To receive so many mountains of these beautiful pendants, I am quite simply brimming with joy, my dear. To thank you, I have to give you my most precious of precious belongings. I shall give you this very special piece of jewelry. Now, close your eyes, dear. This item is so rare. That is not that is not another like it anywhere else in the world. Wow. So this is the hero's charm. It's what you get for giving your 70 joy pendants in total. And it's quite the interesting item, actually. Um basically what it does is if you actually if you go to the subscreen and press R or L, I'll give you your little things here. I'll tell you what songs you have and also how many pieces of heart, how many did treasure charts, all all this stuff. And you see this, the hero's charm, which is what we got just got. And uh so you we can equip it. And yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna catch me wearing it. But uh, this is what it looks like, and I will show it off in a later episode. But um, what it—it's not just a cosmetic thing; it also actually has a purpose to it. But um, I think I'm gonna end this video off here. So in the next video, I'll go. When you get off, just get, uh, get, get a room. I'm I'm trying to talk here. Anyway, in the next episode, I guess I'll show this off and I'll do some more. I I have one more thing to do on Wimple Island, so I will see you then. Bye.